Hi, I'm Lisa Von Drasic, and I am the curator of the Children's Literature Research Collections of the University of Minnesota. Did you know the University of Minnesota is on the unceded lands of the Dakota peoples? And so we acknowledge that as often as we can to understand and to remember our work as educators and to think about not only what it is right now, but in present day, how each one of us can be a person who reaches out and says, I'm here for you, and what can I do? And today, we're going to talk about three amazing books with... Hi, I'm Kristen Mastel. I'm an outreach and instruction librarian over on the St. Paul campus. And I am the library liaison to the sustainability courses, the Institute on the Environment um, Extension, and the College of Continuing and Professional Studies. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful, <laughs> and it's a big job. But yeah. when you brought this stack of books, I, I was blown away. Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Now this was a Minnesota Book Award winner and a great read. Can you tell me just a little bit about why you brought this book to share? Sure, thanks Lisa. Um, gosh, this it has to be one of my all-time favorite books now um, after reading it. Um, she is just so poetic in her language and it's just, beautifully done, the way that she weaves in stories of the natural environment, also with science themes, because she is a professor of botany and an indigenous woman. And she beautifully weaves these two stories together of the science of our, under, of our world around us, and then also um, native customs, and native traditions. And so you'll read a section, and it's super easy to just pick up and put down um, each chapter by chapter is kind of a different theme. So you might read 30 pages about beans, and I never thought 30 pages about beans would be so captivating, but the way she writes is just so poetic and so beautiful. I see you have a tab there. I do. Um, this one chapter just really struck me, and it's called The Honorable Harvest, and it's, it's just so captivating. So in this book, I'd like to read just a short little segment from it that I just found really beautiful. And it might remind you of cooking in, the, in your own household. And she just puts it, it in poetic language. So in here on page 199, um, she talks about cooking with the family. And she says, the girls chop the slender bulbs and the leaves and they I'll go into my favorite cast iron skillet with way more butter than a person should probably have. The aroma of sauteed leeks fills the kitchen. Just breathing it in is good medicine. And then it goes on to describe further, mm -hmm. but it just gives a sample of how you can taste and sense. And she puts you right there. Right there. And um, do you recall which nation? She's from Minnesota, yes? Um, no, she's from the Padua, Padua Tomi Nation. So I believe she's actually from the eastern uh, seaboard, seaboard area. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you. And there are two other books here. Yes. Um, this so, one I don't know. Yeah, so the next one is, is a local author. She is an Ojibwe, um, of Ojibwe descent and an Ojibwe elder. And she's from the Duluth area. She's actually faculty up at Duluth. Hi Duluth, go Bulldogs. <laughs> and so this is Linda uh, Lagarde Grover. And um, this book, and I'm gonna do my best at pronouncing it, Anagam, Anagam Asing. Um, so this is a beautiful story. It's like little tiny memoirs, um, mm -hmm. like 50 little memoirs collapsed into this book. So it's a super easy book to just pick up and put down. And while the seasons aren't 
It's not explicitly about nature every single chapter. It is a theme of someone's life and kind of how your life changes with different seasons, how we all have, um, you know, darker times and brighter times, times of renewal, um, times of rejuvenation. So this is just kind of a lovely compilation of stories. And again, kind of speaks to understanding kind of the world around us a little bit better. So I, I recommend this book because it's just a great way to understand, especially if you're Minnesotan, um, to know our region a little bit better through a different person's perspective. Um, I think you'll really enjoy the hallmarks of hearing different areas of Duluth that you'll recognize, and then also places you probably haven't explored um, or understand as well. It's a beautifully made book. It, it feels is, great, it French flaps. So it's a paperback, easy to carry around. Here's a beautiful picture of the author. Okay, and the last of this pile, Mary Robinson yeah. from Ireland? From Ireland, Okay, yes. tell me a little bit yes. about this. So, um, if, you, if you haven't heard of Mary Robinson, she was the former president of Ireland, so you might have heard her, her speak. Um, she was very involved in the UN climate talks and the Paris Agreement, so you might uh, have heard her there. She also won um, the Presidential uh, Medal of Freedom from Barack Obama. So again, um, lots of activist role, um, pushing climate change to the forefront for being a part of everyone's discussion and trying to address it before um, it gets out of hand. and Before it's too late. Too late. Um, so this is a great book. Um, I really love that she really focuses on women mm -hmm. and the story of women around the world. So telling how we're all interconnected, how decisions that we make here affect someone in various other parts of the world, and how people in small communities and larger cities are all trying to address climate change, how to be more sustainable. And so it talks from indigenous people to big city dwellers and kind of gives some suggestions and gives us some hope. Mm -hmm. Like this book I think is really nice because it, it gives us some hope for the future because you can kind of get bogged down with the doom and gloom. So kind of like these other two that, that focus on the natural surroundings. Um, this does in a, mm. in a way, but it also shows the beauty and the hope that we can all contribute to and make change. Oh. Well, thank you so much yeah. for bringing these three books, Braiding Sweetgrass, Ona Gana Musing, Hopefully I got that right. Seasons of the Ojibwe Year, Linda Lagarde Grover, and Climate Justice, Mary Robinson. Thank you for being with us today Thank and you. bringing us these books, and I can't wait to read. Thanks. Please do. And that's all the time we have for today's Read This Book.